Hello everyone and welcome back to Cop Supply. In this video we are going to be giving you an overview of Barnacle Bot. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into today's overview. I'm going to begin at the settings page. Before I do that, let's go over the functionality of the program. As you guys can see, we have a minimize button, we have the X button, and then we have the Barnacle Bot logo in the top left. We can't actually break it in full screen, so we can go ahead and scale it as we wish by going to the corners. If you double tap the header at the top, that doesn't break it in full screen as well. So give me a moment whilst I go ahead and scale this for the overview. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that size. But as you guys can see, this is what the UI looks like. So we're going to begin on the settings page and make our way to the task page and end off today's overview with a test task. So on the settings page, we have a few things to cover. We have ID, size, email, password, and then we have ID repeated again. You may be thinking why that is. It's because this section is split into accounts and rates. So for the account section, we have that. And then for the rate section, we have ID, site, profile, and rate. So we're going to begin at the account section and we're going to go ahead and create an account here. So I hit add account, prompts me to go ahead and select a site. So I'm going to go ahead and select the site here. Let's say if I were to do AJ1 Travis and then it asked me for my input of email password. So for the purpose of this overview, I'm going to go ahead and put an email in here. And let's say that was the account. I hit add account and as you guys can see, it's added the account. It goes ahead and says my ID is zero at the site. Obviously it was AJ1 Travis and then the email start out as well as the password. And then if you want to go ahead and actually see the email and password for all your accounts, you can hit this button and it'll go ahead and reveal it. And you can hit this button once again to go ahead and start it out. You have the delete button. So you can go ahead and select a type of account. If you select this account and hit the delete button, then we'll go ahead and delete the account like so. Then moving over to the rate section, you have IDs, site profile and rates if you hit the add rates button you can select the site so let's say we click aj1 travis again for your profile you actually have to hit a profile by default you have some test us profiles loaded however in this overview i'm going to create my own profile through this overview and show you guys how it works so just for the purpose of this i'm going to hit test us and rate nickname so let's call it video test travis and then we have the prot linked or rate token. So what we can go ahead and do here is just for the purpose of this, I know this actually won't work. I want to put a URL in here. I'm going to click harvest rate. And as you guys can see, it's not going to work. It says failed retrieving rates because obviously that is an accurate site but this is a general idea obviously you'll go ahead and configure this with a url that is accurate in relation to this site or you can put a rate token in there and go ahead and harvest the rate and then once you go ahead and harvest the rate it's very similar system to this you can go ahead and select the rate and hit the delete button and we'll go ahead and delete that rate and when you have these rates and accounts loaded you can go ahead and use it in association with your tasks on the task page then at the bottom here we have the discord webhook you can go ahead and put your webhook in here and also test it once you go ahead and do so and then you have the toggle shadows one so if you hit this you can go ahead and add shadows on all the boxes i'm actually going to keep that on because i prefer it and then we have the preferred quick task size so if you go ahead and set up quick tasks you can go ahead and put in a size here so for example my preferred size was 12 i'd put 12 in here and that would be the preferred size then you can go ahead and configure your quick task profile once again like i said we have a few profiles already created here but i will go through creating a profile in a second so you can go ahead and select the profile and then you can go ahead and configure retry fail checkout for your quick task so obviously this is activated and this is disactivated and then you have the open paypal button so if you wish to hit this it will go ahead and open paypal and it will prompt you to go ahead and log in so as you guys can see it took me to paypal i can go ahead and log in if i wish and then i have the save button so if i want to go ahead and save any of this i hit save and i also have deactivate button to go ahead and deactivate my license key out of the bot but moving to this section this is for customization so as you guys can see i can change the the value of the background buttons accent and text so for example if i hit this i can go ahead and change the color i'm not going to change anything because i like the way it's set out but if you guys want to go ahead and dive into that and create your own type of look for balco but then by all means go ahead and then you have the cookies button where it shows you how many tokens will be harvested from footlocker for action east bay transport footlocker canada footlocker kids easy supply and adidas combined shows your tokens there you can hit the clear all button if you wish as well and then you have the import all button so if you hit this a file directory is going to pop up and as well as a export all button and then you have the check for updates button so if you hit this it will go ahead and check for updates as you guys can see balco bot is up to date and then it shows your current version number which is version 2.699 now moving over to the profile side we're going to go ahead and create a profile here so we already have one available so i'll go ahead and break down the separation of the profile so the id is the uh, profile name then we have the card which is the last four digits of your card number then the card holder name the expiration as well as cvv but we want to go ahead and create one so at all times you will have this box here where you can go ahead and create a profile so for the purpose of this overview i'm going to call it video test 
And then we have the shipping and billing. And just before I go ahead and break down this entire thing, if you want the same shipping as billing, you hit this. And as you guys can see, it's going to go ahead and copy over. So you have your first name, last name, country, which is a drop down. So I can go ahead and scroll through or I could type into it and then you can go ahead and select the one. Then you have address one, address two, state, city, zip code. And then for billing, it's the exact same thing. And then for your payment section, you have your first name, last name, phone number, card number, CVV, email address, month, year. And then you can activate dot trick, attempt one checkout, random four letters on addresses to go ahead and jig your address. And then you have the create profile button as well as the clear fields if you wish to start again. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is fill out all this and create a profile here just so we have something to use in the overview. So as you guys can see, I've gone ahead and filled out some random information here. If I hit the create profile button, my profile goes ahead and gets created. The ID is video test the card number ends in 2345 the card holder name is john doe the expiration is 06 2021 and the ccv is 234 now moving over to the capture section i can go ahead and configure my capture service we have capture one to five by default and then you have a few options so at the moment everything's deactivated because it's red if i want to activate the capture solver one it I can go ahead and slide this to the right to go ahead and activate it and I can also activate checkout capture only and enable v3. So I've gone ahead and activated this. I have the option to open the solver, log into Gmail, open up YouTube, but a capture solver proxy. Then I can save the proxy and clear the cache. So just for the purpose of this overview, I'm going to hit open solver here and give it a second. As you guys can see, because it's the same background as this, it's hard to see. But you can see that there's a solver here. I can go ahead and rename the solver. So if I want to rename it to the name of my Gmail account, just to go ahead and make it easier, I can do that. If I want to test capture, I hit this and I'm pretty sure it's going to pop up something because obviously I'm not logged into account. But as you guys can see, I can go ahead and solve this and go through it. The score isn't the greatest because I'm not logged in, but you know, it goes and solves it and that performs the purpose of the capture. I can go ahead and hit the X button to X out of it. I can also deactivate it if I wish, but I'm going to keep it activated. And if you guys are wanting more than five capture solvers, you can hit the add solvers button. And as you guys can see, it adds another five more. Moving to the analytics page, this is where all your logged checkouts go. So any type of successful checkout within Balco goes here. So my total checkouts is zero. And you have a graph to illustrate this as well. And your total spent as well is zero dollars. Let's say you do some checkouts and it don't appear here you can also hit the reload button and we'll go ahead and reload everything so it all pops up here then we have the proxies tab so the proxies are separated into id ip port user password time since use and response time and then at the bottom here if you hit this you can go ahead and add a group name i'm going to add video test for this overview and click great group and as you guys can see video test has been added and the previous one was default that's why now a drop down is available to configure between the both but i'm going to stick to video test then i can hit the add proxies button the delete button remove all button test proxy button i can also configure the url where the proxies are going to test from and then i can also toggle the time as well and delete groups if i were to delete default for example if i hit this it goes and delete and as you guys can see Default is no longer there, but I want to go ahead and add a proxy here. So I'm going to hit this button and then the formation is IP port use and pass. Very similar to the formation up there. So I've gone ahead and put the proxy in here and it's blurred out, but you guys can clearly tell there is text there. So there is a proxy. I'm going to hit the add proxies button. And as you guys can see, it has been added. The ID is one, the IP is there, the port is there, the username is there, the password is there. The time since use is time because we haven't actually tested it yet. And the response time is ping because we haven't actually tested it yet either. So we're going to go ahead and select the proxy first and hit the test proxy button. Give it a second and the response time is 533 milliseconds. Now moving on to the task page, we have two buttons on the screen this is create and quick create and just to run over quick create if you hit this button it will say while a shopify product link is copied to your clipboard this will create a group and idle quick task so essentially if you copy a shopify link it will go ahead and use your quick task settings that be configured in the settings tab and go ahead and create some quick tasks for you guys to go ahead and use so to break down the create button if you hit the create button you have a few options here so you have shopify supreme adidas yeezy off-white footlocker and then you can go back to the beginning and you can also configure your name so I want to hit supreme. I'm going to configure the name video test tasks just like so. And then I'm going to hit the create button. And as you guys can see, my group of tasks has been created. It says supreme video test task, zero task created and zero task running. And before I go ahead and break down how to create the task, if you want to clone the group, you hit this. And as you guys can see, it will prompt you to go ahead and convey a group name. So let's say I were to name this duplicate. And then I hit the duplicate button. As you guys can see, it goes ahead and duplicates over. So before I go ahead and break down the actual creation of tasks, I'm just going to show you how to delete a group. You actually just click into the group and hit this button. Once you do that, it deletes the group. So we're going to go ahead and break down how to actually create a task. So once we go ahead and click into the task, it looks like this. And keep in mind, this section is relative towards Supreme tasks. So this may look a little different when you're using Shopify or Adidas or Off-White. 
But keep in mind, I'm only doing this to show you some type of task creation process, just so you're familiar with it. If you guys want to go ahead and do some test tasks with Shopify or Adidas or Foot Locker, then feel free. But for the purpose of this overview, I'm going to be doing it with Supreme. So for the purpose of this overview and for the purpose of my test tasks, I'm going to be running for an item here called the Supreme Nalgene 32 Ozzy Bottle. It's available in black and red and it's retailing for £34. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and drag my tab over here and focus on the task creation process. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is configure what region you're from so us or eu it does not support japan at the moment so i am from eu so i'm going to hit this and then it asks you to go ahead and configure your video profile so mine is video test which is the one we configured in this overview so i'm going to hit that then we have our group name which is video test task and it shows you that there's zero task created and zero tasks running and then like i demonstrated before we have the delete group button which we can go ahead and delete the group if you wish but i'm not going to go ahead and do that so breaking down the tasks once you've created them it's separate into id product size profile and statuses all attached to a creator task that we're going to go ahead and do and then we have the delay override button so if you hit this you can go ahead and override the delay you can also go ahead and configure your delay there if you wish at the moment by default it's 5500 then you have the create task button the start button the stop button the delete button the edit button the duplicate button so just to show what the edit section looks like if i go on and click on edit you can edit the size color category you can also do search you can edit the checkout delay the specific proxy and then also the delay at a button you can also force capture as well if you wish and then you can go ahead and edit your tasks but obviously because we have zero tasks loaded that's why it says edit zero tasks you can go ahead and hit the select all button as well if you wish to affect all your tasks and then you can go ahead and hit the x button once you are done or if you don't want to save anything in here so if you hit this it'll go ahead and x you are there so we're going to go ahead and hit create task here and then we're greeted with this so when this box goes and pops up after clicking the create task button you have the box here to go ahead and put in keywords and URLs. So when it comes to positive keywords, all you have to do is simply type in and then the keyword is automatically put to a positive keyword. As you guys can see, it highlights green. But if you wanted a negative keyword, you go ahead and put a minus in front of it and go ahead and do that. And as you guys can see, it highlights red because it's a negative keyword. So let's go ahead and configure the size here. We know that there's no sizing on this item. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit random size for color. I actually want a black one. So I'm going to go with black. So the category is subsized within the accessories part of the Supreme website. Then for the checkout delay, I'm going to leave it as 1,500. And it's asking me what profile I want to use. I want to use video test. For a specific proxy, I don't want it to use a certain proxy. I'm going to leave that alone. For delay, I'll keep that as 5,500. I can enforce copy if I wish, but I'm not going to do that. And then amount to create. This is how many tasks you want to create. I'm going to stick to one. And then you can go ahead and hit the create one task button. And then as you guys can see, it's gone ahead and been created. You have the ID, you have the product, which is the link, and then you have the size, profile, and status. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go back to the capture section and go ahead and pop up a solver. So I'm going to open solver, and as you guys can see, it's there. I'm going to go ahead and scale down the bot so it's actually visible. Both of them are visible. I'm going to hit the task button. And before we go ahead and actually start up our task, I want to go ahead and show you that the edit button does actually work. So we hit this, and if I were to change this from a link to actual keywords, Based on the item, it's called the Nalgene Bottle. So I'm going to put Nalgene and Bottle in here, like so. And as you guys can see, those are positive keywords. I'm going to hit Edit One Task. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the Start button. So it's going to start. It's monitoring, getting size, adding to cart, submitting checkout. And this is where it's going to loop because the checkout information is failed. So obviously, as you guys can see, the checkout failed because the information is inaccurate. Just simply test it. But as you guys can see, the statuses work absolutely fine. Then at any point, I can go ahead and hit the Stop button. Obviously, it was checkout failed, so it's gone back to idling. But let's say it's during the process. I can go ahead and hit the Stop button at any point, and it will go back to idling. That is going to conclude the overview of Balco Bot at Cost Supply.